guys. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit more about something that has been brought up a lot in pretty much every single one of my videos and it's about my nose. Um, whether people are asking me because they're naturally curious because that's just human nature to be curious about things or they're just being rude you know I get asked pretty much daily what's wrong with your nose what's up with your nose um you know I'm not trying to be rude what's wrong with your nose stuff like that I get asked that pretty much daily and honestly I don't have a problem with talking about it because it's who I am it's made me the person I am today and um you know maybe my story can help someone out there who has the same birth defect that I have and I can you know reach out to them so I was born with a cleft palate and lip um it's kind of a common birth defect um, my mom when she was pregnant with me she was diabetic um, there was a lot of complications with her pregnancy um, she had to have a c-section because apparently she told me I couldn't come out I didn't want to come out <laughs> um, and the doctors were absolutely horrible to her when I was born they basically told her that I was going to um, either be retarded my entire life or I was going to be um, dead um, within a couple of hours so go ahead and arrange a funeral service either way they said I wouldn't live very long and um, I'm 24 now so um, I'm still living <laughs> and so that was like the first big thing and you know then they told my mom I had a cloth palette and lip and everything like that um, and this is a baby picture of me before I had any surgery done and that's me and I was happy Hopefully you can see. I can't tell if I'm centered or anything like that because I don't have a mirror behind it. But that's me. I was a very, very happy baby. Um, but basically the cleft palate, palate and lip is when this whole part right here is not formed correctly during um, the time that you're in your mother's womb. And... Um, it just doesn't form and it, it's a it's a very common birth defect I've met a lot of people um, I've seen a lot of people online have it and you know when I was little I used to think that I was the only person in the world that had it and I was like why me why did um, God create me like this I look like a monster all this kind of stuff and it was hard to deal with when I was young because kids were so rude and horrible to me that I literally went into a deep depression at a very 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 young age I mean I used to love school when I was really really young and you know like when you're little you don't really look at people's appearances and be like oh she's fat she's ugly she's this she's that but once you start growing up you start looking at people's appearances and you're like what's wrong with your nose what's wrong with this what's wrong with that and as I got older I started to hate school I started to fake being sick I started to fake all this stuff like it was just horrible but I've had um, a lot of constructive surgery to create to recreate um, what I didn't have um, so you know the first surgery was I think I was a year old when I had my first surgery and it was to close up the gap um, I had to be fed with a tube when I was younger because I mean of course you can't be fed with a bottle because it would just come right out um, so I had to be fed with a special tube um, when I was younger and um, you know I had colic and that my mom said that was not fun. I had it for about six months, she said. I think she said six months. Um, 
So I had a lot going on <laughs> for me when I was little. Um, and I had my first surgery when I was one. And then I think I believe I had a surgery every year after that up to the age of 18. Um, the surgeries range from cosmetic surgery to reconstructing, well actually constructing a nasal cavity because um, I only had one nasal cavity and I didn't, ha I only had one. So they had to reconstruct a second one on this side. Um, they had to completely make a new one for me, um, and with that I still couldn't breathe because the roof of my mouth was shoved all the way back into the back of my throat to where I couldn't breathe through my nose at all. Um, so they did lots of various surgeries, um, a lot of cosmetic, um, every summer, um, throughout my childhood for about 18 years, every summer. 18 years um, to reconstruct it and uh, when I turned 18 they were finally able to do the big surgery and the big surgery consisted of breaking my jaw um, and pulling it completely forward and anchoring it down they took bone from my hip and used the bone and some other materials to anchor it down um, and that was the hardest surgery that I've ever had to deal with like it wasn't just painful in my jaw but it was painful to walk because they had cut from my hip um, usually they took cartilage from behind my ears um, when they did the surgeries because they you know of course your nose is made out of com com well it's almost completely made out of cartilage so they had to take cartilage from behind my ear but when they reconstructed my jaw they had to use bone so it was really hard to walk um it took me a while to walk um so it was probably the worst surgery I've ever had in my entire life like I mean I look back and I thought every surgery was the worst but in reality that one was horrible when they anchored when they pulled my jaw forward they, ba they basically had to break my jaw um into you know way back here they had to break it up here break it down here um and pull it forward they wired my jaw shut and it was wired shut for two weeks all i had to do was drink liquids which i was mad <laughs> because I love food um, as you guys can tell I love food and I'm not afraid to admit it so I was very very upset about that but it was so painful I couldn't talk I couldn't eat all I could do was just lay there in pain and it was just horrible um, you know it god it was horrible it was just it hurt so bad um, but once the healing process began, I noticed that I could actually breathe out of my nose. Um, it's still kind of hard for me to breathe out of my nose because I have not... I, I, I've never been... It's like... It's weird because I've never been able to breathe out my nose. So I've always been able to breathe out of my mouth. So it's not like my brain isn't trained to breathe out of my nose. I'm always breathing out of my mouth, which is weird. Um, and I get tired quickly. Um, like when I'm exercising, I always breathe out of my mouth just because that's how my brain is trained. Um, so I'm still getting used to it. And I had surgery when I was 18 and I'm 24 now and I still breathe out of my mouth. <laughs> um, which, you know, it's hard, it's hard for me because, I mean, I can breathe out of my nose and I try to force myself to breathe out of my nose, but it's still really hard because, I mean, for 18 years, I was breathing out of my mouth. Um, you know, I couldn't really do much exercise, you know, I had to have a note from the doctor for PE and stuff because I couldn't do any of the exercises because if I did, I would like pass out because I couldn't breathe, I couldn't get oxygen in my lungs you know I couldn't breathe through my nose and 
they all be yelling at you, breathe through your nose, breathe through your nose. I can't breathe through my nose. I can't. There is nothing there. There is nothing to breathe out of my nose. There's nothing there. Do you not understand this? And they're like, well, do you have asthma? No, but it is a birth defect. And a lot of people didn't understand that growing up. Like, the teachers, they didn't understand that. They were like, a birth defect? Then shouldn't you be with the special ed students? I'm like, no. A birth defect is not doesn't limit me from you know learning it's completely different you're <laughs> and I would like get so mad at people like in school you know they'd be like oh your nose is messed up blah 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 and you know I used to take it to heart and I used to come home crying every day for years like literally years I went into a deep depression at a very early age um, I was diagnosed with severe depression at age 13 um, which is very very young for being diagnosed but I was definitely depressed way before then I think the earliest that I remember being depressed was around seven or eight because I would not I did not leave my room I would cry all the time you know, I I was just I was a wreck all the time. I did not want I did not want to live because people were so rude and so mean to me and I was just like I would do anything to get out of school. Like I used to take baked beans out of a can, chew them up and pretend to throw up just to stay out of school because the kids were that mean. They would throw trash at me, rocks at me, whatever they could get to throw at me because I was different. And it's really messed up. And, you know, now I am very proud of who I am. You know, I do plan on getting more surgeries when I have the money um, for cosmetic surgery to kind of fix it a little bit more. Um, but I'm very proud with the progress that I have made throughout the years. If it wasn't for my mom's support, I would have never gotten through this alive because I honestly would have been dead by now. Um, but my mom has support, been the biggest support for me for my entire life because she has loved me no matter what. And she's always been there for me. And I love her so much. Um, she was always there when I would come home crying. She was always there to, you know, encourage me to keep going and to keep pursuing my goals and she's just the most amazing person in the world. She's not only my mother but she's my best friend and my, you know, she's like a sister to me so she's my inspiration and she's always, always been there for me. Um, so she's, you know, the reason I'm still living and breathing is because she's inspired me to keep going and to be proud of who I am and I'm definitely proud of who I am and no matter how many t times I get you're ugly, you're fat, you're stupid, you're this, you're that, you're that, I'm like I don't care. Faceless, no name people don't bother me. Um, people that do have a face that I'll walk down the street and I'll hear fat ass or ugly bitch or some bullshit I'm like fuck you you know what I'm proud of who I am and you know yeah I have a unique nose I wouldn't call it fucked up but it's definitely unique and I'm unique I have a very unique soul. Everybody's different in their own way. And I don't want to be just like everyone else. Blonde hair, blue eyes, double D boobs, you know, size double zero, you know, working, you know, having like, you know, daddy buy you everything and a poodle and all this shit like, like everybody wants. You know, I don't want to be like that. I want to be an independent person be as eccentric as I want to be, be who I want to be, you know, I don't want to be like everybody else, I want to be different, and if I can inspire one person, then that's all that matters to me, and, you know, and I thank you guys for watching my videos, because, I mean, it really does mean a lot to me, I have over 4,000 subscribers, and it's absolutely insane because I never thought that I would have that many subscribers 
Um, when I hit 300 subscribers, I nearly like, like peed myself because I was so excited. I was like, I, I literally called them my mom and my best friend and I was like oh my god I get 300 subscribers on YouTube holy crap you know and 4,000 is just unbelievable so I thank you guys so much I really do appreciate it and I love every single one of you and remember that you know don't try to be someone that everyone else wants you to be be who you want to be you know if you want to go outside wearing hot pink pants and a bright green shirt and have blue hair and have 1400 piercings in your face and tattoos everywhere do it you know if you want to go out dressed just like Lady Gaga every day do it if you want to go out dressed head to toe in zebra print and rainbow do it be yourself be happy and be proud of who you are because I definitely am and to those people who want to sit there and be like your nose is fucked up you're fat you're ugly da 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 all I gotta say is thank you because you're taking the time out of your day to wasted on me so I really appreciate that <laughs> you know and you see how happy I am there see how happy I am I didn't give a care in the world I was a baby I didn't care I was like fuck everybody <laughs> you know I'm happy to be alive I'm happy to be who I am and I'm that way today you know so I hope this <laughs> let you guys know a little bit about me and my struggles and my news um so nah um hope you guys enjoyed and i love you guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing and i'll talk to all of you later bye <laughs> that was not supposed to happen